everyone. My name is Sean Adams. I'm a managing principal at CAPCO, and I'm really excited to be here with you today talking about International Women's Day and some of the challenges that we're all still facing in achieving uh, gender equality. Joining me today is Holly Jackson. She's a senior vice president uh, at Bank of Montreal's North American Customer Contact Center for personal and business banking. Holly, uh, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to meet with us. Um, it's, uh, it's such an important topic, uh, I think, for all of us. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that we're getting a chance to, uh, to chat about it. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It's, it's great to virtually be here with you. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a little different than usual, right? Yeah. And that leads into some of the challenges that we're seeing nowadays. But as you know, uh, you know, in a few weeks' time on March 8th, uh, inter we're celebrating International Women's Day. This year's theme in particular is choose to challenge. And while women have made a lot of really great strides in the past, uh, we still have a ways to go to achieving a more inclusive and, and kind of gender equal uh, world. Um, I think we've seen in the past, I mentioned that, you know, in the past, we've seen this past year has been particularly challenging with COVID, with the global pandemic, uh, mm -hmm. putting some additional stresses for everyone. But I think women in particular have been impacted. Uh, they've been forced not only to juggle their careers in a, in a new and different way, uh, but also deal with uh, additional kind of childcare, domestic duties, which even in this day and age, uh, still fall predominantly to women. Um, so with that, why don't we jump into a few of the questions now that are all based around this year's theme, uh, Choose to Challenge. Um, so first question, Holly, what does Choose to Challenge mean to you personally? Yeah, thank you for, for asking the question and for inviting me to share my perspective. You know, um, driving gender equality is something that is so important and is something that I'm really passionate about and I've been spending a lot of time on throughout my career. And when I think about Choose to Challenge as the, as the uh, theme for this year, two things really stand out for me. The first one is the word choose. To me, choose or choice is so much more empowering. And when I choose to do something, that means that I am all in on it because I am making the choice that it's where I should be spending my time and how I should be focusing. And so the fact that that is actually in the theme, I think is a, is a really great way to get people to be, to be engaged because they wanna be, because it's their choice. And so I love the fact that the word choose was in there. And then challenge, you know, when I think about challenge, I get a lot of feedback and throughout my career, I've received a lot of feedback that I always challenge the status quo. I am not satisfied with an answer that says, it's just because it's how we do it, or that's just the way things are. And when I think about gender equality, that answer is so not good enough anymore. And so the fact that we can challenge, and, and I can use, I think one of the, the skills that I have that has allowed me to be successful thus far to really bring to life and drive change, that to me just makes this whole theme resonate so much more. It's a really powerful theme, and I, I, I love how you've used the word, you know, focused on the word choice, right, or choose, essentially. And it, it is really about being, I think, deliberate in our actions. Um, and I think, uh, you know, as a senior leader uh, at, at, a, at, a, at a very large bank uh, here in Canada, a very important role that you've got with uh, a large uh, group of people reporting into you, you have a, an opportunity, I think, to, you know, not only inspire people uh, through your words and your actions, uh, but also provide a really interesting kind of holistic perspective on the challenges that, that women uh, face nowadays. So I'm wondering, in, in thinking back to the kind of the actions and the personal element of it, how will you uh, choose to challenge in particular this year? Yeah, when I think about, uh, you know, I'm new to BMO. I, uh, I joined at the end of November. And one of the things that was so important for me before I made the decision to join Bank of Montreal was to understand what the, what the company's approach was to diversity and to inclusion. And, and it was a really important factor in my decision to leave where I was and to, to make the leap over to BMO. And now that I've been here and learned even more, I'm really excited about BMO's take on zero barriers to inclusion and their commitment through both investment and public declarations, as well as just the makeup of of key executive organizations, they are putting their money where their mouth is. They are actually driving change. And so when I think about my role joining as a, a senior executive female at BMO, I take it really seriously. So I have had a lot of women leaders around my career that have helped elevate me and help helped me get to where I am today. So my job is to do the exact same thing. 
I want to be elevating and pulling women around me and ensuring that they have the, the, the opportunities to deliver and drive greatness. And I think BMO is a fantastic place to do that. And so when I think about challenging the status quo and choosing where I'm going to invest, you know, I have goals around inclusion and around gender diversity. The goals that I have are not good enough. I'm going to go, I'm going to be bolder. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to find ways to truly break down some of the things that we think are constraints in front of us and, and truly drive change, both because it's a great business thing to do, but also mm -hmm. because it's the right thing to do. Yeah, absolutely. It resonates on, on both levels. And I think uh, BMO's made some amazing progress there. And it's, it's really interesting. I, I think, you know, back to the choice again, you know, you made a choice to join this organization uh, in part because of their commitment to diversity, to gender equality. And in the same way that, you know, consumers are, are choosing where they're going to spend their money um, based in part on decisions like that, uh, people are making choices about their employers as well. So just even in the war for talent, there's amazing, you know, business, pure, just hard-nosed business rationale for actually doing the right thing. It's amazing when those things line up together like that. So thinking about, um, uh, you know, sort of those ambitious goals that you're setting for yourself to go above and beyond, um, how are you, what are you going to do specifically? Can you share a few thoughts or examples of how you're going to encourage uh, Choose to Challenge at BMO? Yeah, so I think part of it is listening. And so I think there's lots of places where, uh, you know, d depending on which group you talk to, there are perceptions or a view on what they think the barriers are. And so part of it is listening to find ways to actually eliminate those barriers and allow people to have the freedom in their mind to go after what they want and to not feel like they can't share that idea in a forum because it's not going to be received properly or they can't make, uh, you know, a, a decision because it's, you know, it's not in their wheelhouse to be able to do that. So I think a lot of, of the tactical and specific things that I'm going to do is listen to my team and understand what barriers exist for you today that I can give you the freedom to just completely obliterate and then show up as your true best self. I think that's the, the best thing that I can do in, you know, and, and I can start doing it literally now that I've already joined. Amazing. That's going to be, it's going to be really exciting to see what kind of evolves out of this over the course of, you know, the next year and, and the years to come. Um, let's ask one final question, I guess, then, Holly. The, you know, we, we've touched on this a little bit already, but maybe just to summarize it. Why is this so important? Yeah, you know, I think the I read a lot about the fact that gender parity is going to come in the next century. And that, to me, is not good enough. Why? Why does it have to be the next century? Why can't it be in my lifetime? Why can't it be in my children's lifetime? And so to me, the action that we have to take is now. And we can't be good enough with, it's coming, but it's just gonna take some time. And so to me, it's it's how do you be bolder? How do you be more courageous? How do you just jump in? And you know, as they're saying for, for International Women's Day, like choose to challenge because we absolutely can make a difference. So now is the time. It's amazing, I couldn't agree with you more. Holly, thanks so much for joining us today. It's such a pleasure hearing from you and talking about these challenges that you're looking forward to facing head on in the year to come. Awesome. Well, I hope the next time that we connect on this topic, there is real meaningful change that we can point to. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you.